Classic dispute tonight on the Treasure Coast. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Emma, and thank you for joining us this evening. Police in Port St. Lucie have arrested a man that they say admitted to killing his wife. Ted White is live now in St. Lucie County. And Ted, police say that man actually called them. That's right, Port St. Lucie police say that this man calmly told dispatchers that he had just killed his wife. When they arrived at this apartment complex, they walked up here. The man calmly gave himself up, and when police went inside, they found a gruesome scene. I like literally jumped out of bed and turned like I was like terrified. Neil Valeka and his girlfriend both say they were awakened by what they would later learn was a dying woman's last call for him. You know, I just felt bad that I didn't do anything when I heard because I heard her screaming at like 6:30 this morning, and I I thought I heard the gunshots, but minutes later, Port St. Lucie police received a 911 call. A man told the dispatcher he had just killed his wife. Police rushed to this apartment in the 300 block of Southeast Walton Lakes Drive. We. Called him out, detained him without any incident. There was no struggle or anything. We went into the apartment and we found a uh, young lady deceased with an apparent gunshot wound to the head. Police say the couple are both in their 20s. Detectives questioned the husband to try and figure out why he killed the woman who was supposed to be his partner for life. It's pretty sad and um, it's not something that you actually would think would happen with someone that young. He doesn't seem like a person that would do this and it's kind of sh it's shocking. And at this hour, Port St. Lucie police have not released the names of the victim and her husband, who is now under arrest. Coming up at 7 o'clock tonight, Port St. Lucie police plan to hold a news conference to give us those names and more about this shocking crime. We're live at Port St. Lucie, Ted White, WPBS 25 News.